Are you guys east siders or west siders? I've been raised on the east side, but okay. she recently moved me to the west side, so I'm Ew. an east sider. Right. East sider. <laughs> You're like, peace. I'm Becky Reams, your collector chef for Collector's Cafe. I eat two lobster rolls a day. Do you I think really? it's probably going to be an issue, <laughs> uh, mercury-wise, one of these days. But yes, I eat so like much of it. I, I don't think I can get bored. Hello, everyone. I'm Becky Reams, your collector chef, bringing chefs and collectibles together here on Collector's Cafe. Our guests today are Chloe Dahl and Nikki Booth, creators of Knuckle and Claw. Thank you guys for being here. Tell me a little bit about Knuckle and Claw. Knuckle and Claw is a quick service restaurant. And when people walk in, what we've tried to do is make it a mix of Martha's Vineyard and Los Angeles. So it's chic, but it's rusty. When you get your meal, you feel like it's something you'd get at like a backyard barbecue. Then all the stuff on the wall is photos that our parents have taken of oh. us. It's totally a home, homey type of place. At what point were you like, yo, we're really good at this? We're opposites. I dream, I want to just go jump off lots of cliffs. She wants to calculate things. Well, I was like, Nikki, we need to get a restaurant. We need to go back to LA, <laughs> roll in a few fridges, get a panini press going, and we're going to be in business. I was like, dude, there's this thing called like the health department. <laughs> My goal is just to try and make it happen. When she says something feasible, I'm like, I think that might be possible. Uh, why lobster? I learned to love lobsters when I was three years old, and I broke into our neighbor's house next door. And I went, and I remember looking up in the fridge at the top shelf, mm -hmm. and I saw just the leftover lobster, and I grabbed it, and I went outside, and I just had breakfast, and it was so good. So her neighbors yeah. caught her out there at like six in the morning. They're like, what are you doing, Chloe? And she's like, just eating lobster. How much lobster do you guys fly in every day? We go through 250 pounds a week. Uh, the cool thing about Maine is that it's a sustainable fishing industry, so we have to put all of our lobster orders in 48 hours in advance so the fishermen specifically catch the amount that's needed. Have you ever converted anyone who was like not a lobster person? Like the hardest people to get on your side are the true New Englanders. Mm. I mean they come in there and they walk in there like I'm from Boston and you oh. know like show me what you got. If you say you're from LA I'm like okay we got you're you. Like, Just like eat it. Eat it. <laughs> I know you're gonna love it but you say something to a Boston person for they sure. like they want to sit down and they have to make that decision on their own. What are your favorite things on the menu right now? I've been eating puff pastries, but just the tops, like really taking my own top and saying, yeah, let's make a new one. And it's perfect for this weather. I mean, we cannot handle it once it drops below 70. So it's true. we're all in a deep state of struggle at the moment. <laughs> and I think a lobster pot pie is just what everybody needs. Let's talk about collectibles. It's like cool show thing and about this one is it's a buoy. This was actually brought to us by a customer, which is awesome. Like this Everyone. tag number, they mm -hmm. use tags to distinguish how many pots they've dragged up a year, and that's how they keep it sustainable. Then this one, this is a buoy as well? We picked this up when we were driving around Maine. We drove to all the little towns and tried every single lobster roll we could get our hands on. And we picked that up at one of the stops, and it's kind of just stuck with us. All of our friends knew that we were about to open a lobster roll restaurant, mm -hmm. and so one of them found a box of lobster claws, and he used it to make a cast, and it was made into a flask. If you could collect anything from any time period, what would it be? Medieval times. Really? Yeah. I don't even yeah. know the time. I just want it to be a watch <laughs> from, like, the very first watch all the way forward. Well, now it's time to play a game called Would You Rather. Would you rather go to prom dinner at Red Lobster or Olive Garden? I think I'm gonna go to Olive Garden, get a soup and breadsticks. Yeah. Would you rather spend the weekend in Nantucket with Queen Elizabeth or in Boston with Hillary Clinton? Boston, oh. Hill. You don't go to Nantucket. No. Would you rather drink a dirty martini or a Dos Equis with a lobster roll? I'm Excellent. just a really big fan of dirty martinis. And then martinis. you'll get the lobster roll. <laughs> Would you rather spend the day in Julia Child's kitchen or in Hell's kitchen? Julia Child. Yeah. Well, what's next for you guys? We're just trying to make sure we're doing the best we can do at the shop and when the opportunity presents itself. We'd like okay. to do another one. Thank you guys so much again for stopping by. I cannot wait to come eat a quarter pound of lobster in a single sitting. Oh yes. yes. We'll see you there. I'm Becky Reams, your collector chef, and that wraps it up for this edition of Collector's Cafe.